And mm -hmm. it is unbelievable the network of doctors and enablers and rehab centers that not only addict celebrity addicts, but they keep them addicted. Big Boys Neighborhood, beautiful day in the neighborhood. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, when we check on anything, we always say, where did you hear that from? If we hear somebody say TMZ said it, then that's when we know we can also run with it. Yes. Harvey Levin from TMZ, Harvey. welcome back to the neighborhood, my man. Hey, guys. Hey, big boy. How you doing? I am doing amazing, bro. I am doing amazing. First off, bro, it's always great to have you in the neighborhood. I love being and there. We've had a chance to talk about so many things in, in the last few years, like really many years. We've had a, a great relationship when it comes to Big Boy's Neighborhood and TMZ. And what's going on with TMZ now? Because I know I got some things I would love to speak on. But what's happening with TMZ right now, bro? Are we are we going to do another deep dive? Yeah, I, I got to tell you, we've done a lot of documentaries, Big Boy. Oh my, God. my jaw generally does not drop. Uh, when we're doing these interviews, I am just thunderstruck by what we found in the wake of Matthew Perry's death. Um, we're doing a documentary that drops today on Hulu called Matthew Perry and the Secret Celebrity Drug Ring. And mm -hmm. it is unbelievable the network of doctors and enablers and rehab centers that not only addict celebrity addicts, but they keep them addicted and they make a fortune off of them and they do it for money and they do it because they just wanna rub elbows with the rich and famous. These doctors that I'm talking about are really like street drug dealers, except they just charge a lot more money. Man, I was looking on social media today where there was a doctor and I don't know who the doctor is, but he said he got to a point where he stopped writing prescriptions. And when you see now with you, you never know how big it is until you see someone pass away. Like when we saw Michael Jackson pass yeah, away, yeah. when when we saw Dr. Conrad Murray, these things happen. And even with with my doctors, right? I have a great staff of doctors, man. But you will see where you could see if you get the right person that'll write you the prescription they will write you that prescription now with me it's more my, my health and you know the weight loss and everything so i stay i stay very up to date but i'm always in a position where i could see where someone could misuse even when i got my knees done harvey i had total knee replacement when i spoke with the doctors out there that did my knees and they told me how much of the painkillers i could take i couldn't imagine i didn't take one but i couldn't imagine how many they were saying that it was okay to take. And I was like, this is, this is a slippery slope. This, this, could, this could send me down the road. Well, I'll give you an example. Um, we talked to Kelly Osborne. She got her tonsils out mm -hmm. when she was 13, and they gave her opiates, and she became addicted. She ended up, a 13-year-old, going to six different doctors without any parental supervision. They were giving her oxy. Wow. She was getting it filled at pharmacies, 13 years old. And I am telling you, you know, we talked to somebody from Jackass who would go into doctor's offices and trade swag for drugs. I mean, that's how blatant this is. But big boy, I gotta tell you, as bad as the doctors are, check this out. We found out there is something called a body broker and body brokers go to rehabs, uh, they go to AA meetings. They work for certain rehab centers. They go to AA meetings and they sit outside and they look for people coming out who seem to be struggling. They will befriend them. They will get them re-addicted on drugs so they can then take them to the rehab center and charge them up to $100,000 a month to get clean. With TMZ Investigates, Harvey, are, and, and I, I think I know the answer to this. Are you surprised when you go and do a TMZ investigate? Are you surprised by how much you can uncover? And especially with the one that's going on with Matthew Perry right now, the secret celebrity drug ring. You know, it's so uh, it's interesting because we were all over the Michael Jackson case and we've covered so many of these celebrity deaths involving drugs and especially prescription drugs. So I didn't think I was gonna be surprised. But when I started hearing 
about how it all works, how these people are going to certain doctors, that there's an oxy doctor in town that you go to, there's an Ativan doctor you go to. I mean, it's like there are specialist drug dealers who are doctors. Yeah, I mean, my jaw dropped. My jaw dropped when I heard about these rehab centers. Mm -hmm. I just had no idea that it was this flagrant, this blatant, and in some ways out in the open. You know, I was watching a documentary, and it's crazy that we, we're talking now, Harvey, because I was just watching a documentary over the weekend, and that documentary as well was speaking on how with the a lot of the places where you go to these rehab centers, that they would also have someone, like how you were speaking, that they would have someone that was like, you know, they would say, get back on. Get, you know, we would say that you relapsed. And then with that relapse, they can go back in and get them another two, three right. weeks. And that right, right. there, they say, it would be tens upon tens of thousands of dollars of up to $100,000 as well. And I'll, and I'll tell you, you're right. And here's another story about these rehab facilities. Some of them charge upwards of $100,000 a month. And when you have a celebrity who is going there, paying that kind of money, and not a lot of people can, and then 15 days in, they say, you know, I'm feeling anxious, I need a Valium, or I want an Oxy, or whatever. There are some rehab facilities, and we get into this, that will give them those drugs. And they don't give it to them because it's necessary. They give it to them because they're afraid if they say no, the person will bolt, and they won't get their money. And it's just become this business, and that's the way it works. And when can we see TMZ Investigates, Matthew Perry, and the secret celebrity drug ring once again, Harvey? Harvey. It is on Hulu right now. Just go to Hulu, and you will find it. But I got to tell you, big boy, this one is shocking. Hey, man, and let, let me tell you, everyone that I've seen, and, and, you know, I'm close to a lot of it, or I read a lot, I try to tune in a lot. Even the Diddy investigate, the, 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 the investigates that y'all did with Diddy, even watching the layers, and I thought that was done beautifully as well, but even watching the layers, and now, do you ever feel like, oh, my God, now we got to go back? Because I was even asking you with the $100 million lawsuit that we've seen, Harvey, what does that mean against Diddy? It appeared that it was like he, he didn't show up. The judge was like, okay, well, you know, if you're not here, we're going for the maximum. Is that the broad stroke of what we're seeing? And could, could Diddy go back and refile or appeal that? Yeah, I, I think that case is going away. I mean, this was an inmate at a prison um, making an allegation in a town that Diddy didn't even live in at the time. And so he didn't show up for the hearing because he wasn't served. So fair is fair. And I think this judge bungled it by doing what she did. And I think it's going to get reversed. What happens? The only thing with that, we're here to reverse, but the shot heard around the world is never yeah. as loud as the, what you retract. And 100%. then the court of public opinion. You know, we're living in a court of public opinion now, bro, where when something is said, even if it's thrown into the air, you can't dispute it as much as, as when it was first sent out and, and the shock waves. You're right. You're absolutely right. Um, if this were a one-off, um, it would be particularly disturbing, but there are a lot of other allegations in this situation. Now, what about uh, Trump? Trump, the, the king of everything, man. Uh, the Secret Service now, we, they would say that there was another attempt, possible attempt on Trump's life over at a golf course, and but Secret Service was on, on the job this time, as, as right. Trump would say. So it looks like this guy um, may have been there um, from two in the morning where nobody was looking and just hid there the whole day waiting. So that's the way it's looking right now. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, two attempts in two months, um, this is a serious problem. And even Joe Biden came out today and said, look, we've got to get more people working in the Secret Service to provide adequate protection. Because again, if that one agent wouldn't have seen that scope peering through a fence. This was an AK-47, big boy. Man, and we also saw at one of his rallies, did you see when he introduced Nikki Jam and said that this, you know, y'all know Nikki Jam, hot lad. Oh, she's hot. She's hot. And Nikki Jam, the guy, has been in the neighborhood right. many, many a times, man. You know, and, and the thing with us, Harvey, we try not to go so political, but some of this stuff is just low-hanging fruit. Where it's like, yeah, how I, do we ignore this? I, I agree with you because we do the same 
where, you know, we don't want to take a position. Um, mm -hmm. It's not our place to do it, and I don't think it's the media's place to do it, even though they do. But, you know, when, when Donald Trump comes out with, I hate Taylor Swift, how do you, <laughs> how do you, how do you ignore that? Yeah, and, and then that that bleeds into what we have to talk about. And then when I was watching right. the, the the debate, and one man was talking about you know how the dogs are coming up missing the animals, and then he said, "Well, I saw it on TV. <laughs> they're eating the <laughs> yeah, cats and they're, dogs. They're eating the cats and dogs. Well, I saw it on TV, man. Wow. Always wow. a pleasure to have you in the neighborhood, Harvey. And once again, TMZ investigates Matthew Perry and the secret celebrity drug ring. It's available for us right now on Hulu. Make sure you guys check that out. You always do great. Great thing, and I know that you guys go through so many layers, and there's so much integrity when it comes to TMZ. And I don't want to ask you this on, but now that we're on, I want to leak my audio of my sex tape. Oh, God, will almost you stop like it? No. My, almost like, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have did this live with you, <laughs> but just something where it's flattering, and I want to, I want to present it to you first, and... And I just want you, because I, I need the boost. Like, oh, baby, don't do this. Get away. Oh, man, you don't run for this. You don't run for this. Come on now, Veto. I want to have that kind of moment. But I want to give you the exclusive. And I think I'm going to uh, record it tomorrow. And I'm going to accidentally release it. You will do anything for good lighting. Yes, 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 I will. Yes, I will. But this one is going to be just uh, um, audio. Because the visual, you know, I'll probably catch some lawsuits and throw up and lose rating. You know, how, Harvey, I got your personal number. We're calling. We're discuss. Oh, big boy. Always, always a pleasure to have you in the neighborhood, Harvey. I love coming in the neighborhood. But man, I, God willing, I'll see you soon, my man. All righty. Me too. Harvey Levin, ladies and gentlemen, once again, TMZ investigates Matthew Perry and the secret celebrity drug ring available for you right now on Hulu. Make sure you guys check that out. Always fantastic work. And once again, Harvey Levin from TMZ, thank you for being in the neighborhood. Thank you, big boy. Big boy's neighborhood. Drop, drop.